Hello and welcome. This is Banana Katana, a game that I have made on my own. And today we'll be playing it with Ravs. Hello, welcome to Team Strikes. <laughs> and Ben? I have not made a game. Were we all meant to bring games that we've made? No, it's just did. this one. Oh, thank God. Okay. Lewis. <laughs> I came up with the name for the game. You that's did, I'm, yeah. I'm, That's my claim to fame. God, I'm rhyming. What? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? Uh, I brought my my supporting. I've, I've, we're a two-person team today. Um, okay, that's allowed. Duncan, I'm very impressed. This looks like an actual professional card game that I would it is. play in a in a real world scenario. Should I teach you how to play? Please mm. do. Okay, so you have five decks. We start by drawing a monster card. I'll be the monster this round. So I get to pick two, and I can pick one of these two. Now we um, wait five minutes while Duncan decides. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going with a really big monkey that throws barrels. <laughs> a legally distinct large <laughs> monkey. I know exactly, I can picture it though. Yeah. <laughs> So well, I'm looking for a small uh, plumber man. <laughs> we need a oh, yeah. small a Mediterranean <laughs> pipe fixing man. <laughs> well, this is what we, this is what this is the point of the game. Do you see what I mean? Okay, we're doing it. Okay, so you start by drawing three of each of the decks for your hand. I'll okay. do it as well, mm -hmm. so, so I'm ready. Okay, so now you have to make an invention to beat the monkey with the barrels by picking one of each of the bases, power sources, and weapons. Okay. Okay, because I'm the monster, you will have to pitch to me how your invention will destroy that monkey. Okay. So, starting from Ravs. All right, I got this in the bag, all right. We've already determined it's a giant monkey that's thrown barrels, okay. We've all heard this story before. So, for the base of my vehicle, okay, I got a giant peach. That's Ooh. right. We know that the giant monkey loves his peach. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> giant uh, monkey wants giant peach. <laughs> now, this peach, is, it's a fruit, and it's running on lemon juice. That's right, all the lemon juice. Oh, my that, God, it's a sour mm -hmm. peach. It's, it's a, the worst <laughs> kind of peaches, Rev. Of course, right? But that's gonna, it's going to see this big, beautiful peach. It's going to take a bite into, oh, it's sour. <laughs> and then, even worse than that, OK, the peach has got spikes on the inside. <laughs> oh, it's oh. got spikes and it's going to fuck this monkey up. The next step is, Rabs, you have to draw a malfunction to see what might go wrong with your invention. Yeah, this is the unfortunate part that might be the flaw in my plan. Uh, my invention is massively overweight, but that's honestly, in my oh, eyes, that's an improvement. Fine because, you know, we it know It is a donkey. giant peach. Well, I bet this big monkey likes a juicy double. I think he, he wants a big, big juicy... A big wobbly peach. What have <laughs> you, <laughs> what oh, have yeah. you got, Ben? <laughs> I've got a helicopter. Okay. Right. You're already, he can't reach me. I'm towed by a flock of seagulls. Okay, yeah. The yeah. band. <laughs> 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 and I am armed with a slingshot which shoots tiny bananas. Okay, so oh, you've got a helicopter going away and it's propelled by seagulls. Yeah. So the seagulls return to the sea. And I shoot down the bananas, and the monkey follows the bananas, and I leave a trail, and Hang he on follows me... Hang on a second. ...into the sea. You're it's throwing sweet. tiny bananas at a giant monkey. Mm. This is a really He's weird... He's going to need to eat a lot of them. He's right. not even going to be able to see them. <laughs> He's going to be like, I hate to say it, <laughs> but a load of tiny bananas is not like a bowl of cereal for that monkey. <laughs> he can't just... He has to it's peel them all drink. individually. No, no, he needs some whole. The <laughs> skin will be thinner though, because it won't matter so much. He's like, mm, mm, whatever. <laughs> and he'll follow me, and he'll follow me out to sea, and, and then I'll save the city. But there's a problem. Oh yeah. Oh functions. of course. Because this was perfect. <laughs> Until now. <laughs> okay. My entire invention is made of jam. Oh man, that's not a good one. Oh. <laughs> A helicopter made of jam? <laughs> the just... bananas are made of jam. <laughs> so really all I've got is a flock of seagulls doing a blob of jam along. <laughs> so yeah, a helicopter's a great idea, mm -hmm. but maybe it's too high tech. Maybe you've just got Leonardo da Vinci's flying machine. Ah. ah. And of course it's powered by an engine that burns barrels. Oh. Oh my god. As it goes, it picks up. As it goes up the layers, up the ladders, you know, and all that, it, it picks up barrels, mm -hmm. pops so them in the engine. You can catch the barrels that he's throwing. It's and recycling. Burn them. It's very modern. Um, and it's aimed by a baby ray. 
And that turns the giant monkey into that baby version a that baby. you see. Do you oh my god, in... Don Diddy Kong. Diddy. Diddy, Diddy, Diddy monkey. Diddy, Diddy, monkey. Diddy, Diddy, Diddy monkey. And he is, <laughs> he's way more chill. <laughs> he never is. He's, he's got a baseball cap and a little t-shirt. <laughs> he's a cool guy. You don't see enough of him anymore. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So anyway, there is something wrong with this. And it is that, unfortunately, this cost of fast amount of money to design and build. <laughs> and it is in fact slowed down by the crippling financial debt burden <laughs> <laughs> that it has incurred. Um, Ooh. So it's it's taken, it's, it, it, there's, a, there's a series of accountants waiting in the wings to collect. <laughs> All right, so you now get to pick which right. you like the best. So, I yeah, I get to judge. And, and it's been who's... so long since you remember what Ravs is. <laughs> hey, I had the... the... So Raz was the peach. giant peach that with the, with the lemon juice and the spikes. Oh. You've got the jam helicopter, uh, and Lewis uh, has the winning one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I really think I really think I Donkey just think, Kong would chow down on some peach, didn't yeah. you? Don't you the think? The fact that it burned barrels is pretty good because this monkey throws them. I know. It's giving you fuel. We're just, it's its like the ultimate counter. Yeah. How do I get points? So now uh, you would usually take this card and that would be one of your points. But due to the global pandemic, well, yeah. ongoing, we'll I will just remember. invisibly remember that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, I would like to know what you guys can come up with that's going to defeat the entire <laughs> Roman army. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, got this in the bag, boys. All right. All right. I like yeah. it. Although that's the same confidence I went into with my peach, <laughs> which lost. Great, <laughs> okay, this, is, this, is, this is gonna be a hard sell for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go on then, Ben. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the humble ice cream van. Okay. okay. Famous weapon of war. It's fast. Compared for the Romans, it's fast. Yeah, it's tough, true. Right? It's propeller propelled. Yeah. So it's got like a, a spinning prop at the front for momentum. Doubles up as a weapon, though, isn't it? <laughs> I've seen Indiana Jones. <laughs> yes, sure. You can chop okay. some suckers up with that. But its primary armament is it fires frisbees with sharpened edges. Oh. oh. So you drive up, the Roman army forms up in their famous Tetsudo formation. Okay, and then and I, then the music plays. <laughs> it's like plays like weird, like little jingle jangle music. Yeah. You can hear it coming yeah. as well down the street. That's it. I plow into their formation, I spin my propellers, their, their, their shield wall breaks, and then <laughs> razor sharp frisbees fry, fly out and chop them all to bits. I like it. They try to get me off my arm at like my metal sides, they can't penetrate, I burst through, I spin around, I come back, I do the same again. Until they're all dead. And then I turn them into ice cream. And we all eat lemonade and ice cream. Lovely, let's apples. see what your malfunction is. Right, so the downside is that the Roman army find my invention very attractive. <laughs> Oh, Which um, I think, to be honest, is, is that an might, might work for you. They're chasing no, no, it around. No. They're trying to. They're trying to ask it out for a date. They're no, to they're it. thinking it's going to bring. They're going to want. They want the ice cream. They That's come right. to me. That's why it's attractive. And then I just open the shutter, and they're like, "Give it to me, please." And then the frisbee flies out. Right. So, um, obviously, I'm sending in the Statue of Liberties. Less attractive sister. Okay. So back in Gaul, or wherever the fuck Romans were fighting <laughs> back then, yeah. they made a spare Statue of Liberty, mm. and no one talks about her mm. because prototype. She's a bit. She also she walks around on weird bird legs. <laughs> like I'm um, picturing like Big Bird. Like Big Bird. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah. And and I mean, uh, she's armed with a harpoon launcher, so oh. there is potential there. Uh, she is fucking gigantic, and a harpoon launcher could go through several ranks of Roman mm. soldiers at once. And the bird legs can squash stuff. And if she's got bird legs, I reckon she could give a go at flying. Like a, not like a, <laughs> not like a, <laughs> like a chicken, right? It doesn't really fly, but it kind of flaps around. It's got wings. Yeah, but like, you don't see chickens like migrating for the fucking okay, wing. What I'm worried about here is her top half them. is made of statue and her <laughs> bottom half is made of chicken legs. I imagine we just fucking crumble. <laughs> I just snap. Just what? crumble under the weight. Okay, good point. We had to consider that. Well, that's not the malfunction. But yeah. the malfunction is uh, that, oh no, the harpoon launcher jams and is replaced by a gun that makes their hair grow real fast. <laughs> what does that card say? Uh, pick, a, pick a place replacement weapon from your hand because your primary weapon oh, has nice. failed. 
So it actually, it doesn't have a harping launcher. No, it has a gun that makes the backup gun, mm -hmm. uh, which turns them into hippies <laughs> and corrupts them. Wow. Mm. Well, the Romans famously always wanted to be clean shaved. They thought beards were for savages. Yeah, they're very much not hippies. Oh shit, I should have just doubled down on that. Why didn't you tell me this fact earlier? <laughs> <laughs> Where was your history knowledge earlier, Ben? <laughs> what okay. have you got, Duncan? Well, I've got, got? A, I've got a, a way of beating the whole army, but it takes a while, okay? Mm -hmm. I've got a bunk bed, which runs on clockwork. You'll see why in a second. <laughs> All right. It's armed with a massive cheese grater. Okay. <laughs> okay. So think about this: a bunk bed, right? Yeah. Looks like a bunk bed. Looks very comfortable. Roman soldiers notoriously, don't, you know, don't sleep on very comfortable places when they're out on the mm. field doing their things. They see this bunk bed, get in. Suddenly, <laughs> grates them into just a fine powder, which disappears, oh. and then. The next one comes. <laughs> the same thing happens. So it's more of a long plan. Yeah. It's, a long, it's a long con. It's not an open battle. It takes a while, but I mean, these camp, these, these war camps are there for a long time, weeks and weeks. You could probably gr slowly grate down the entire Roman army. I feel like we may catch on eventually. Mm. <laughs> it's like a cursed object in the midst of yeah. Where's, where's Titus? I don't know. He went into that tent with the strange metal bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll go see where he is. That's strange. Oh, he's not here. Antonius went in there yesterday. <laughs> he must have left because there's nothing left of him. <laughs> <laughs> what happens when the, the, the gratings get full up? Does it, you have to, is it like a hole punch where eventually you have to well, empty the dust tray at the well, bottom? It, it's, it's like, it has to be manned by someone, you see, because they've got, they got to, they got to wind keep it winding up. it up. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just get a shout out for the word hole punch? Because I haven't seen or used a hole punch in about 25 years. <laughs> really? Yeah. No, they're great fun. <laughs> Yeah. Do we have a hole punch in the office? Oh my god, I hope so. Oh, Please. I don't know why. When, if you if you have used a hole punch or thought about the hole punch, <laughs> just out of interest. Who's used? Not, give me. Let me know in the comments. Let me know. Let's look at it in malfunction. Um, so my pilot is, is <laughs> as if it wasn't bad enough. My pilot is due to appear on a talk show in fifteen minutes. <laughs> Your pilot? Yeah, the guy winding it. Oh shit! <laughs> so that's not good. Um, <laughs> So he's got, oh, no, he's, come to Japan in the next he's 15 minutes. He's got to wind it real tight in 15 minutes. So I that, hope that lasts. So that he can, it will, the clockwork will last the hour that he's on the talk show for. But on his talk show, he could uh, talk about how great this bed is. Bam! Exactly. He'd be like, <laughs> man, there's, there's this great it looks bed. really uncomfortable. In the wall <laughs> it's got spikes and it's got a grinder and it makes a weird metal noise. People have disappeared near it, but <laughs> it's fantastic and comfortable. <laughs> The best night's sleep so you'll ever have. The only one I can actually see being effective in battle here has got to be the ice cream truck. <laughs> like, I, I just picture like, them in a battle formation, the trucks plowing through them, these frisbees flying through the air. Yeah, yeah I, think that, I think that one's Plus got we've it. got the best after So I guess I'll put this over here as a bend, a bend point. Yay! Bam. Oh, wow. You guys have got a face down. Cthulhu. Oh, uh -oh. my God. That's a, that's a tough one. Dun, dun, dun. Unspeakable horrors from beyond the stars have arrived. Oh, I, th I think I've got it. So Cthulhu, oh, yeah, obviously, mm -hmm. madness incarnate. Of course. Um, as soon as you see him, you go mad. So no one really can even report. He's just, he's, he's, de he's, he's, he's beyond... Beyond description. And, and evil too, mm -hmm. right? So you have to fight fire with fire. Right. Okay. What we need is a merry-go-round, because that's <laughs> madness already. Horrors <laughs> beyond description. <laughs> and it's peddled by a church choir. But then there's a spear sticking out the front. <laughs> oh my god. So he <laughs> gets lured in. He gets lured in by this madness, right? There's yeah. a church choir spinning on a merry-go-round, singing oh. and peddling. Maybe he thinks it's like a soulmate. He's this... like another unspeakable horror. <laughs> <laughs> I love you! And he brings it close to him, his eye, or whatever he's got. <laughs> and the, suddenly the spear's there. <laughs> oh. No! Classic. Okay, you can't help but poon things, can you? So perfect. However, uh, it should be mentioned. In fact, this helps. This actually helps. All of my surfaces are slick with melted butter. <laughs> <laughs> Just to add to the I, madness. I think yeah. everyone's covered in melted I, I butter. Think it would make it trickier to pedal. <laughs> They're all slick. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god. It's starting to get a bit sexy in the pedal room. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> slipping off the, the pedal seat. Sweat Their feet keep slipping. I'm totally, I'm honestly in this 100%. Beat that. What have you got? Okay, well, I've also gone for a bit of madness. Mm -hmm. um, I think if Cthulhu sees something truly wacky and weird, he'd probably think that it was something to do with him, so he'll just ignore it. Mm -hmm. So I've got a stuffed rhino pulled by chickens, <laughs> giant chickens. Oh, okay, already madness. I think he sees that, he's like, that's pretty normal. That's a Thursday. Yeah, right. sure. <laughs> so far, like, the least threatening thing so, to put up against Exactly, <laughs> so it slowly like gets towards him. When it gets close, the head opens up, and bam, a net launcher. <laughs> <laughs> You're not trying to poke him on Cthulhu. <laughs> we caught him in a net. Dark time. <laughs> uh, sadly, um, my invention is lagging quite a lot. Oh, so, lagging? Oh yeah, god, lagging. so he just steps at the wheel so like, oh, wow. a bit. So if Cthulhu's stomping around the city, your net just like goes behind him because you thought he was where <laughs> he was. Could, it it may <laughs> miss. I have, to, I have to predict the lag and shoot it slightly where he's going to be rather than where he is. Okay, okay. <laughs> I've also went down the route of madness. I want to out madden Cthulhu, oh and God. what's more maddening than an entire printed copy of Wikipedia? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my can God. you even conceive yeah. that? Mm -hmm. I can't. I don't, what does that um, even look like? And, and <laughs> like, horrors beyond description. No, you might think he'll just walk away from it. Well, sadly for him, it swings around on strings of web, so it follows him wherever he goes. Oh, okay. I think you. I think mm -hmm. this is Cthulhu. <laughs> this is why it's undescribable. Yeah. This is yeah. to Cthulhu what mm -hmm. Cthulhu is to us. Yeah. yeah. We look upon Cthulhu and go mad. He looks on the spider web Wikipedia yeah. monster. And as it's swinging through the air, the big mass that it is, it's basically a wrecking ball, I would say. That's what it is. It's a oh, wrecking ball of horrible, maddening knowledge. Cthulhu's gonna get hit in the face with an article that's talking about Honey Boo Boo. He's gonna go down the rabbit hole as well. He's gonna be like, oh, what is that? He's gonna be like, these humans, their knowledge! <laughs> Before he knows <laughs> he's it, he's looking at Big Brother 2017 yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why did you print out the please donate bit on every single bit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna fuck right off His back into the scene. empty. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately though, uh, my invention has been hit by a shrink ray and reduced to 10% of its normal size. But I mean, its normal size has got to be fucking massive. Yeah, even Wikipedia. at 10% of its size, it yeah. blots out the sun. Yeah, right. Just think of the paper cuts as well. Exactly, the paper Whoa. cuts as well. Oh yeah, the blizzard of yeah. tiny paper. Yeah, I, I'm sold. That. I can't beat that. That's more terrifying than anything, <laughs> including Cthulhu. <laughs> well, if you like that idea, Ben, you can give us like 10 pounds a month just to keep this going. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. That was amazing. I think the real winner here is, is Duncan, actually. Uh, <laughs> Did you like my game? It's a brilliant yeah. game. Um, it's so fun that I'm surprised you made it. <laughs> wow. Oh. Just kidding. I Just had to kidding. do something in lockdown. Yeah, you did. <laughs> this is great. You can pick it up now, store.yorkscast.com. Um, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.